and welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferris episode with steel guns on Cyberpunk. Now, they've been having a shootout in the uh, kind of sewery bit where, <laughs> well, police are turning up, but that's that's not how you physics. I mean, first of all, crashing the cars into this area, pretty, I mean, that's some fail race police department nonsense right there. But managing to get your car to freeze in midair. It's quite impressive. Not only freeze in midair, but just to be stuck there permanently. I mean, the people have been already shot out of it, but the car itself... Normally you have glitch like this, you shoot the glitch and it sorts itself out. But no, this one is a particularly stubborn car. Not only is it particularly stubborn in this you can shoot it and interact with it and it doesn't much move, you can even shoot it to the point where the car explodes and <laughs> the wreck still doesn't move. That is honestly quite impressive. They've got some anti-gravity going on at the Ferris Police Department. Uh, Hanno is up next on Wreckfest. Now they do a single player race. The AI up ahead, leading the way, clear runs the line, makes a little bit of a mistake, runs wide, overcorrects, and has a bad day. <laughs> Sometimes you just get lucky in races, and this time it could not have gone better for the, for the player. I mean, yeah. We've all done it when leading the race at some point. It's not so often you see the AI do it, but uh, yeah, the buggy just carries too much speed into the final corner. It runs wide. I mean, that's okay. You get away with it, but as it taps the wall, it just overcorrects, spins the other way, can't gather it back up in time, and then there is a very unhelpful banking for the car to climb. It then crashes into spectator vehicles, although it does manage to make its way back onto the circuit, at least. So that is something. Razor Sharp is up next. Uh, on Wreckfest. Now they are leading uh, a race here from the off when they get things a little bit wrong and struggling to gather it all back up uh, through here. Get away with it. That's fine. Everything has just about survived. However, through the next corner, things continue to go a little bit uh, awry. It's a little too late to uh, counter steer. Car goes for a turn, bounces off a wall, and ends up in front of the track. It's collected by one, two, three. Funny shaped car at this point. There's a fourth one for good luck. Does get turned around though, thanks to that. Oh, there's a fifth one also got into the back. It's made a really weird shape. I mean, I know it's the point of Wreckfest and everything, but that is a really weirdly shaped car. Right there. Uh, Turtle Boy up next on WRC 10 going for, well, I think a record for the highest roll and land on your wheels and carry on in a rally game I've ever seen. It is, we see it on the WRC games, on the dirt games, this whole roll, land on your wheels and carry on. But the height that this poor Volkswagen got off of a rock is astonishing. That is some serious height for the car. Lands on its wheels. I mean, it doesn't quite land cleanly on its wheels, admittedly. It slides off the circuit, but still... That is an incredible amount of height for a uh, land and carry on sort of a moment. We move from a rally car to a, uh, a track car. A hatcher on race room has got uh, the G a GT4 M4. Now they're racing around Monza, heading towards the first quarter. I mean, there's all sorts of chaos can go on turn one at Monza. We all know they've ever played any multiplayer games around here. However, for the BMW, it doesn't need to be any other cars in sight. It's a bounce across a curb, launches the car for a front flip, lands on its roof, and then physics has just had enough and decided we've got to spin around a million times and then not be able to settle properly anyway. Yeah, that's all we know. That BMW might still be spinning. It's had a bad day there. Uh, Cam's up next on Project Cars 2. And a weird multi-class race mix between some classic indie cars and some modern indie cars. And, well, one of the classic ones has a big shunt and everything goes horribly, horribly wrong. And then the car decides to bounce. Not quite sure the reason for the bouncing, but, uh, yeah, it's an important part, apparently, of this crash. And I love how, whoop, as it lands upside down, it loses two more wheels. So we've got one wheel at that point. It's not gone amazingly well. That it's not not gone amazingly well. We move next on to Forza Horizon Five. Now this is during a game of King. I'm not actually sure quite what game it is. Either way, the little Honda Civic finds out the hard way. <laughs> well, maybe playing up against a truck can have its downsides. You couldn't do that one better if you tried. I don't even know if the truck knew there was a car below it. I think it failed its jump. Um, and yeah, manages to get itself squished through the floor. Uh, Bumpy Jr. up next on Sea of Thieves has a boat that's a bit on fire. It's a, it's a small bit small bit alarming. You know, you probably don't want your boat to be on fire. They're busy sorting out getting the, the vessel moving and everything. And it's turned a little bit too, tight, uh, too tightly tighter than they were expecting and falls over. I mean, the fire is now less of a problem because the boat's underwater. But yes, turns out boats can violently roll just the same as cars can, given the right scenario, so to speak. Uh, Principled Foe is up next on Bus Simulator 21. 
Apparently in this game you can actually sit and be a passenger while the AI drives the bus. Okay, well this could only end spectacularly well. There's nothing that could possibly go wrong with letting the AI drive the vehicle. Surely they will be sensible and not do anything stupid around here whatsoever. Nope, I was wrong. Of course I was wrong. It's <laughs> To be fair, the bus lightly bumped the uh, the bank and the player just got flung miles out of the car. Uh, Black and Red Up Next is on stray with the drone for getting what it's doing. I mean, it does make this level easier. A, a game where you get to play as a cat is awesome. Uh, you know, just, I'm always going to always going to approve of that. But uh, yeah, the drone's not doing a very good job of patrolling if it's covering one side and I guess it's supposed to spin or it's about whatever it is, it's not supposed to do this. It seems like it can't just like rotate further or rotate the way it should. So it's just it's that side is very definitely there is definitely no cats along that side of the corridor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a good thing. It's a good thing it's kind of stuck doing that. Otherwise, I, could, I feel like that could really break a level at some point. But it's a very ineffective drone. Um, yeah, you, just ba you basically don't really need to do much to deal with that one. Uh, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes life is made easier. Uh, we go to Euro Truck Simulator 2 and learn why taking a shortcut is a bad idea. Too much speed. And that's not quite going to make that corner, is it? It's had an angry argument with a lamppost. Truck's gone very big flip, actually. And then managed to balance. Not quite perfectly. I'm not going to go with the perfectly balanced. But it's quite a good balance for the truck. Yeah, maybe don't take the shortcuts. If you're going to take the shortcuts, slow down before you try. Oh, and finally, we have uh, Douglas on Euro Truck Simulator, who is completely minding their own business. They're sat at a roundabout doing absolutely what they should when an AI truck absolutely chucks them forward and launches them well across the road. I think they got like 100 km an hour from that hit. That got hit with so much speed. And I do believe this is single player as well. I don't think this is a multiplayer. I don't think it's like a weird lag spike from a truck. No, that just got fired across a roundabout into a signpost at a lot of miles an hour. A lot of miles an hour indeed. But uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can uh, via a Google form. There'll be a link to it in the description. All the rules and how it works can be found on there. However, that is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, uh, yeah, goodbye.